Hi guys, PJ here with the PC release of Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection. Well, I say collection, there's actually two games in this collection, but yeah, fair enough, you know, I think they could have expanded on that. Let's not digress. Anyway, the reason for this video is to have a look at the settings options to see how well it runs on this particular system. As you will have noted, probably in the bottom right hand corner, the very first time you run the game, it has to build the shaders. Now, this does depend on your system and your spec, speed, etc. Sort of about 20 minutes is the norm for it to do this. You can ignore it and carry on, but it really does kill your loading times while you're in game. So, my advice go and put the kettle on, leave it for 20 minutes, and let it do this building shaders part. As for the game itself, yeah. It's meant to be a pretty bare bones port to be honest. It's got a few options but it's not over the top. It's not a bad port but it's not a great port either. So as soon as it's done building its shaders we're going to have a look in game, see how it runs and see what options and settings we can optimise to make the best out of this hardware. When the game's finally done rendering its shaders we're going to pop down to the options and see what the game has chosen for this system. Now this system is a Ryzen uh, 2700 so it's an 8 core 16 thread CPU it's not overclocked or anything like that and we've got a GTX 1660 Ti 6GB graphics card running 16 gigabytes of RAM. I've installed the game on an NVMe SSD so it should be quick enough on the booting options but let's have a take a quick look at every option the game has got. So we've got game options there obviously subtitles things like that tutorials markers rumbles now I'm using an Xbox controller on the, the PC, but you can obviously use a PS4 or a PS5 controller on it as well. We have got a photo mode, which is nice, we'll keep that on. The game's probably a good looker, let's face it. In fact, I played this when it came out on PS4, so uh, I know it's a good looker. Here's your controls. Feel free to pause the video if you need to look at any of these a bit uh, more carefully for any reason. Key bindings. There's your key bindings, pretty straightforward, you can actually reshuffle every single one of them, which is sort of expected nowadays. Display, now we get to the more interesting ones, don't we? Okay, so I'm on a 1440p monitor, it's chose borderless window, and it's greyed out the resolution, aspect ratio auto there, render resolution though, check that out guys, 1706 by 960, so it's already decided it's going to... Uh, chop it down which is quite interesting and we are completely greyed out let's go full screen or not as the case may be well i don't know if you can see that but i haven't got the option to go full screen which is really odd windowed borderless windowed okay that's odd moving on very strange amd fsr2 it's set to quality you can have balanced performance ultra performance okay we'll stick with quality the game's a looker make sure we can take v-sync off so we can get a fps reading fsr sharpness there render scale off so we can have an well we can actually override the render resolution above and uh, pop this up as well to gain some performance back hmm, interesting v-sync on we'll turn that off for this video lock the frames to 30 it's uh, an interesting one. Can we change it to 30? No, nope, it's just 30. Hmm. Performance counters, brightness, motion, etc. Apply changes. Let's do that. And let's go back and have a look at advanced graphics. So we're on custom. It's set textures to high, model quality enhanced, etc. A lot of ultras on there. It doesn't scroll down, guys. That's, that's all of it. But... It does show you a VRAM uh, bar at the bottom, so it's currently set for sort of 4 gig, yeah, which is uh, quite nice. So, what a text just go to ultra. Oh, ultra blows it completely. We are way past what we should be running. Okay, so high, medium, low. So, you can run this on a 3 gig graphics card on low. Let's leave it on high. So, model quality doesn't make much difference actually looking at that we'll leave it on enhanced and all this is set to ultra so is it low medium ultra yeah it is every single one's the same look okay 
let's see how the, the game runs in a minute. Audio. Okay, volumes. Right. But do we have Dolby Surround? Let's have a look. Oh, we might have. This is looking good. So we have home speakers, display speakers, studio reference, soundbar, headphones with 3D spatial audio there. What else have we got? Can we go mono, right? Two, yeah. Ooh. Okay. We've only got stereo. There is absolutely no surround sound. No, no surround sound at all. That's a bit of a shame. Never mind. Okay. Medium dynamic range there. Mono on off. Okay. Hmm. Not bad but would have liked the surround sound on that option. Languages, yes, of course, lots and lots of languages, uh, which I'm not going to change because in the past I've accidentally sort of clicked on them and messed it up. So I'll, uh, I'll just go all the way around. Like I say, pause the video if you want to look more carefully. That's the end one. Let's go back to where I need to be. There we go, subtitles. Mm, looks like the same run of subtitles, so that's good. And we go back to UK, there we go. Okay, good range of languages. Uh, NVIDIA highlights, yes it did actually do this when it first loaded up asking me if it wanted NVIDIA to automatically record sections, which obviously I don't. Let's load into the game and see how it really runs. Okay, well this is the intro section, um, we're on the water, as you can see, we are roughly holding 60 FPS on this section, which is not too bad, I mean there's quite a lot going on, as you can see, but um, I think we'll skip forward and have a look at what it's like when running around on the land. On land running around we can see, well, the FPS has dropped quite a lot, I mean we are sort of between 35 and and 40 popping up to 60 sometimes but there's also some screen tear going on which is not a nice thing to look at looking out over the cityscape there we are on what 37 so i guess the recommended settings on this game were pretty accurate i don't know if you'd want to lock this down to 30 and uh, sort of call it a day at that maybe you know might be the way who knows but um yeah, we'll persevere and see how it looks a little bit further down the line and adjust some settings accordingly if we can get it to run any better. It's pretty smooth. I mean, there's no stutter. I don't like stuttering games. You see a lot of stuttering in bad games and this is absolutely fluid. No problem there at all. Graphics look nice. Um, very much PlayStation 4 standard, to be honest. It's, uh, you know, roughly where it is. After some rather lengthy cutscenes and some bits in the prison, you finally get outside and can start running around. The FPS has improved, but if you have a quick look at the RAM usage, RAM usage is over 10 gigabytes at the moment, which is uh, a fair amount for a game like this. VRAM is currently at, well, 5.6 gigabytes, and the GPU is 98% usage, so it's pretty high. We're not going to uh, be able to push this any higher than what the system has already sort of pushed out for it what we could do is probably lock the fps so it's steady and put the v-sync on because we have got as you can see if i spin around quickly some screen tear cracking off which is quite annoying and you know we don't really want that on now thing is can we alter it while we're in game let's give it a go and see what we can alter without having to reboot so it's a shame these are locked not sure why we've got these locked, what the problem is. I would have liked to have adjusted those manually. Um, if we go ultra performance, which has dropped the render resolution down a lot, uh, let's just see how much that actually gives us just by putting it on ultra performance from ultra quality. Now, for me, this is a game I play on ultra quality, not ultra performance. I don't really think it's going to benefit too much from. 80 odd FPS and if anything I'd say it's made gameplay worse it's got an element of stutter when you spin the camera around 
which wasn't there before and shimmer the screen is actually shimmering I'm sure you can see that on the video it's not ideal so for me I don't think I could handle this guys it's actually too stuttery now this is going to vary from system to system of course but also the grainness the granule you can tell if you look at Nathan his shirt it keeps going sort of blocking out of focus the reconstruction software is not really cutting it for me it's too blurry okay let's go back in and try something else shall we okay so display I'm going to put that back to quality and shall we lock the frame rate and shame we can't lock it to higher than 30 which is a big shame actually and we'll leave frame rate off, we'll leave vSync off, apply those changes, advanced graphics. Hmm. Well, they're all on ultra, so we're not really gonna get you know any better. Maybe we could get the frame rate a bit higher. So that's turn shadows down, that's normally pretty demanding. And reflections, ambient occlusions not normally heavy. We'll leave the model quality enhanced. We do want to go a notch above what the PlayStation Pro was playing this at. Okay, let's apply that and see if we get any boost in performance. Well, it still looks nice. We haven't got that annoying judder when we put the performance mode on. And if you look at his shirt, it's staying, you know, intact sort of thing. 64 FPS, 52 FPS. Okay. And VRAM usage just under six gigabytes. We're, we're pushing our luck a bit here. It's very near the edge. See what happens. Mm. Let's jump across here and see what happens. Or not. That was a mistake. Many years ago when I played this game, guys. Loading back in, though, as you can see, is really, really quick, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing while we're in this area because it's got a lot of foliage and stuff it's quite a taxing area so if we go a 20% can we hold a locked v-sync 30 frames per second let's have a go should be able to don't see any reason why not textures on ultra there they kill it can't do that and apply okay are we going to hold 30 with the locking system on yes we are very nice very smooth so i think my recommended settings are for this system to put vsync on lock it at 30 stay just under the six gigabytes vram we're on 5886 just there gpu at 57% with the 20% FSR setting. He doesn't look too blurry. There is a little bit of blurriness about the character, but it's you know it's okay. So at 1440p, guys, my recommended settings for this and the, probably the way I'm going to personally play the game are those. Still not sure why we can't change the uh, screen to full screen and then alter the resolution. Very odd maybe that will uh, come out to light as the game ages slightly but still so that's the settings i'd have for this and then obviously we've got advanced graphics pretty much all on ultra so notch above what the ps4 pro would run this at overall a nice game and because i've completed this i can tell you it's well worth buying this is the steam version i'm running and i highly recommend the game it's a very good game very good story and really nice set pieces good artwork but for me, that'll do. I'll wrap it up at that. Thanks for watching and bye for now.